Okay, this is an interesting uh, series of slides, cost to the taxpayer. We've tried to lay out uh, different values of home, because I know in talking to people out in the community that the most important thing to them is what is this thing going to cost me per year, per month, normally per year, what's it going to hit me in my pocketbook. And what we've done here is we've showed the, the three different uh, graph options. If The yellow would be if we build a new LEC for that $32 million figure. This is an interesting one, which was this top line uh, of a four-year delay. If we delay four years, what is this thing going to cost us? And then the cost of renovation. Um, this is the $150,000 home. We've laid it out in $150,000, uh, $250,000, and $350,000. Uh, but you can see, and you might look at this cost of renovation, oh yeah, that's the cheapest option, but guess what? From here on, it keeps on going up. And look at this new LEC. It starts leveling off and we're just making the bond payment. There's the 250, 350, and then a, a chart to show that. So in the handout, you can take that home, look at it, and see what the uh, cost is going to be. We've broken it down, once again, into the three different uh, values of home, annually and monthly, what it's going to cost by year. So basically, uh, you can take a look here and see that it's not, not, not that bad. Okay, summary. The county must do something. Uh, we have DOC requirements that we deal with, uh, that we have to meet, the age of the jail, the overcrowding. Um, you know, we've laid out the options. The options are delay, renovate, or build new. And in my mind, I think the best option to the taxpayer at this time is to build a new facility. If you, if you look at everything, you've got to tackle the problem at some point. It's not going to go away. So you might as well deal with the problem now and uh, be done with it. 